Saudi Arabia's planned megacity Neom is not just a mere project. It is a bold step towards achieving the kingdom's Vision 2030 plan. With a whopping 500 billion US dollars investment, it is evident that the country is not taking this lightly. It is a well-known fact that Saudi Arabia, being the largest oil exporter in the world, has been hit hard by the drop in oil revenues. However, this project is a testament to their determination to break free from their dependence on oil. This is not just any other project, but a lifeline for the country to ensure a prosperous future for generations to come. The Line City is Saudi Arabia's answer to their economic nightmare, a hidden problem that most fail to see. The project is not just fascinating due to its grandeur, but also because it's a desperate attempt by the kingdom to secure its financial future. The NEOM project has been meticulously planned and executed, and its success is paramount to Saudi Arabia's financial stability. It is time to delve deeper into the NEOM project, understand its purpose, and acknowledge its significance. To truly grasp the significance of the NEOM city vision, we must first understand the economic landscape of Saudi Arabia. It's no secret that Saudi Arabia is a major global player due to its vast oil reserves and its position as the second largest producer of oil worldwide. Additionally, Saudi Arabia holds a leadership role in OPEC, which grants it crucial trade and security advantages, including the support of the United States. However, the question remains, with so much oil, wealth, and a position of power in OPEC, why is Saudi Arabia facing economic trouble? The truth is that the situation is far more drastic than most people realize. Since 2015, oil prices have consistently failed to reach a break-even point, only rebounding in the past two years due to COVID and the Russian invasion. As a result, Saudi Arabia has been accumulating debt at an alarming rate. Furthermore, with major oil buyers worldwide committing to achieve net zero targets by 2050, the demand for oil is expected to drop by a staggering 71%, as demonstrated by the graph from British Petroleum. Renewable energy is becoming increasingly affordable, making fossil fuels less attractive in comparison. Since 46% of Saudi Arabia's GDP comes from oil, the country will soon face a major crisis when the price drops below $50 a barrel, making it no longer financially viable for them to rely on oil as a primary source of income. Also, Saudi Arabia is grappling with significant domestic economic challenges. Shockingly, despite having 58% of its under 30 population holding college degrees, 63% of them are unemployed as of 2020. The challenges faced by Saudi Arabia are daunting, and it's clear that no social program can solve them. That's why Mohammed bin Salman's NEOM project is so critical. When he unveiled this grand vision for the future, the world was awed by its scale, audacity, and sheer ambition. NEOM is nothing short of humanity's next chapter, and it represents the world's most revolutionary city and destination. The city will stretch 170 kilometers from the Red Sea to Tabuk, but it will be just 200 meters wide and 500 meters above sea level. With a capacity to house 9 million people, Neom will occupy only 34 square kilometers. Living in Neom City means having all your daily needs within a five-minute walk from any corner of the city. There's no need to rely on transportation, as the goal is to have zero cars in the city, making it an eco-friendly haven. Additionally, the transport system in the city will be seamlessly integrated with artificial intelligence, providing a smarter and more efficient travel experience. Indeed, Neom City will be a groundbreaking marvel with no roads, no cars, and no emissions, running entirely on 100% renewable energy sources. That's a game changer for the environment, and it's just the beginning. The city is also committed to producing over 600,000 tons of sustainable food to help Saudi Arabia achieve self-sufficiency with food. Now, the question arises, why would anyone build a city in the middle of the desert in such a strange line format? The answer lies in the city's location. Neom City will be situated along Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coastline with breathtaking views of the Gulf of Aqaba. What's more, it's located near the Suez Canal, where approximately 12% of the entire global trade passed through in 2021, representing over $1 trillion worth of goods per annum. 
And with its strategic location at the center of Asia, Europe, and Africa, Neom City can be reached by an eight-hour flight by 70% of the world's population. That's a prime spot for business opportunities. As oil prices drop and aviation fuel becomes cheaper, air cargo will follow suit. And with a top-of-the-line facility to board and manage air traffic, Saudi Arabia can expect a steady stream of income. The Neom Bay Airport has already been opened up, paving the way for a bright future. But that's not all this location has to offer. The new home area boasts an incredible blend of natural beauty, from dramatic snow-capped mountains to untouched beaches and coral reefs. Line City is one of the most valuable tourist destinations in the world, just waiting for a tourism ecosystem to be set up. And that's exactly what the Trigena Project is all about. Just imagine a year-round tourism destination with a man-made freshwater lake, natural reserve, hiking routes, mountain trails, and water sports galore. Trigena has it all, making it a must-visit destination for adventure seekers and nature lovers alike. And if that wasn't enough, the Kadia Project is all about entertainment. With something for everyone, from thrilling rides to cultural experiences, Kidia promises to be the ultimate destination for entertainment enthusiasts. With so much potential for growth and development, it's clear that this location is a golden opportunity. A city with a Six Flags theme park, a world-renowned golf course, an arts complex, and one of the largest water theme parks in the world, all in one place. Additionally, the city plans to construct the Jira Tower, which will become the world's tallest building, surpassing the Burj Khalifa. Furthermore, Kadia aims to draw in 17 million visitors every year by 2030 and is currently preparing the infrastructure to accommodate them all. One of the biggest projects is the Red Sea Project, which will offer 50 resorts with over 8,000 hotel rooms and 1,000 residential properties spread over 22 islands and six inland cities. This ambitious project will also showcase the stunning beauty of mountain canyons, dormant volcanoes, and ancient cultural heritage sites. It's expected to generate an astounding $5.85 billion in annual revenue by 2030 and $123 billion in cumulative revenue during its construction cycle and 10 years of steady operation by 2040. This will create an estimated 70,000 jobs by 2040. But that's not all. The Amala project will add an additional 2,500 hotel rooms, 700 private residential villas, and a retail area featuring 200 outlets, further enhancing the already impressive tourism infrastructure in the region. Neom is more than just a tourism destination. It's a vision to turn the region into a world-class business hub, with tax rebates for businesses setting up their operations in the city. This move will help generate corporate taxes for Saudi Arabia, making it a win-win situation for everyone. And with investment opportunities in the Neom City, the sky's the limit. This massive project is expected to cover an area of 26,500 kilometers, linking Jordan and Egypt via Saudi territory. By 2030, it's projected to create an astonishing 380,000 jobs and contribute $48 billion to the kingdom's GDP. This is an incredible opportunity for businesses, investors, and individuals looking to experience the best of what the region has to offer. This diversification plan is not just a project, it's a game changer. With a massive amount of wealth and support from powerful companies like Blackstone and some of the richest people like Marsha's son, this project has already started creating ripples in the global economy. And the best part? It's fueled by the booming oil economy of 2022, making it even more promising. But wait, why the skepticism? The NEOM website boldly claims that the city will be powered by 100% renewable energy sources and will also be food sufficient. Unfortunately, the reality is that as of 2020, Saudi Arabia imported 80% of its food from 157 countries. That's not all. The country is so far away from food self-sufficiency that the Saudi government is now buying and leasing lands in other countries and acquiring agricultural companies from across the world just to import food. That's because of the massive water shortage problem that Saudi Arabia faces. And that brings us to the second point of skepticism. 
Did you know that Saudi Arabia, a country almost 60% of the size of India, literally does not have a single river at all? Overuse, demographic, and economic pressures could push Saudi Arabia's water supply to its limit. While the Middle East is rich in oil reserves, it lacks a critical resource that is growing scarcer by the year, water. Let's say Maharashtra is a state in India with 400 rivers still facing water shortages with no solution to the water crisis. People are drinking dirty water and the situation is only getting worse. In comparison, Saudi Arabia's water crisis is far more severe. Despite these challenges, Saudi Arabia's diversification plan is a bold and necessary step toward a sustainable future. In Saudi Arabia, people are fighting for water the moment a tanker arrives. Because Saudi Arabia is one of the most water-scarce nations on the planet, with only 89.5 cubic meters of water per capita per year. The absolute water scarcity level of 500 cubic meters seems like a dream. To meet their water needs, Saudi Arabia relies on the process of water desalination, which not only produces contaminated water, but also requires a lot of oil and results in massive carbon emissions. This is in direct contrast to the principles of Neom City, which aims to achieve sustainability and environmental friendliness. The desalination plants in Saudi Arabia produce a whopping 31.5 million cubic meters of contaminated water each day, which is equivalent to 20 million barrels of oil. Neom City faces the monumental challenge of achieving water sufficiency using clean methods. With the population of Saudi Arabia unevenly distributed and the majority living near the sea, finding a solution to this problem is of utmost importance. Despite Saudi Arabia's goal of generating 15% of its electricity through renewable sources by 2030, only 0.1% was achieved in 2019. While some may argue that using oil to power business is still viable, this is not a sustainable solution. This is because a carbon border tax will soon be imposed, which means any product or service emitting carbon emissions beyond a specified limit will be taxed. For instance, if you produce a ton of steel for $600, you'll be charged an additional 89% return carbon tax when shipping to Canada due to carbon emissions. This will apply to all goods and services, making them very expensive in the global market. In order for a business to survive beyond 2040, it is advisable to implement environmentally friendly practices. Adopting green practices such as investing in renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions can not only save money, but also attract customers and investors who prioritize eco-friendliness. So it's essential for any country to prioritize environmentally friendly practices to attract investments and build a sustainable future. Saudi Arabia's lack of a practical plan of action and hesitation to go green has led many to doubt their claims, making it challenging to secure a $500 billion investment. If Saudi Arabia wants to secure the trillions of dollars needed to fund Vision 2030 projects, it cannot afford to ignore the significance of environmentally friendly practices. Failure to invest in renewable energy and minimize its carbon footprint could result in not only financial losses, but also damage to their reputation. On the other hand, prioritizing sustainable practices would not only help attract investors, but also promote a healthier and more prosperous future for the country. Therefore, it's imperative for Saudi Arabia to take the necessary steps towards a greener future and demonstrate a practical plan of action to attract the investment they need to succeed. So what do you think? Will the city of Neom be able to steer Saudi Arabia from its impending doom? Or is it just a cover-up? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.